Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Professor Pippin back in this bit on I Trade Asian, trying to get active, trying to get live, trying to smash up some sh, but I think I'd have missed it for the night. Um, overall, jumping right into it, looking at AU overall. Man, it's been a week. It has been a week. It has been a week. Overall, we uh let me see where we at because I missed one of those room. It's been an interesting week on AU. Um, definitely been some opportunities hit, been some opportunities missed. It's been one of them days that a trade to go through when our anger inside. I'm gonna take it out on you. Yeah, one of them day. Yeah, it's just like that. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> it's just been like that. But uh yeah, we done got whacked a couple of times and we also done smacked up some shit a couple of times. So um right now, uh AU is pushing bearish from the four hourly down to the hmm, the hourly kind of starting to roll over bullish, but right now I just kind of want to run back through um some of these trades and what I kind of didn't seen already for the night. Um early during New York session, try to take these buys. I saw these buys coming. Um uh, unfortunately, I saw this rejection wick right here. Um, as we look at it on the hourly, it ended up closing bearish. I got in before that candle closed, but as we look at this candle here on the 15, I was checking price, I was watching it. So it melt right down in here, breaking below this four hour support. Then I saw that thing push back up and close bullish. So once it came back and retesting the area, I was probably watching on one minute. Oh, yeah. So we pushed above, came back and retested the area where price action broke above structure on the one minute time frame as it pulled back into that area. And then the next candle broke its own high. I was in there like swimwear. right up in her, and then that thing just leaked to the downside. Full stops on that. Um, stops was right below the wick where price action rejected from on the higher time frames. But then, you know, just a couple of minutes after, uh, probably about an hour or two, you know, uh, right around that London close, price action ended up rolling over. No longer was interested in the trade since I got smacked right over here. Um, and yeah, it ended up taking off and going bullish. So what I was looking for tonight was, Okay, I missed my buys. I even got smacked on the trade. Looking for buys right back up in here to test, to retest um, <clears throat> on the hourly. Let me get it red. Yeah, I was looking for the retest structure here to the left, which what actually played out. Um, like I said, unfortunately, I got smacked out right down here. And then tonight, I was looking uh, for the shorts from that same area where uh, price action would have smacked TPs on my badge. But uh, on the 15, what I saw was, um, I was thinking of price action melting off from right up in this area. It was gonna be either from, and I got it marked up on a different chart. So had a little back. It was either from this area right up in here or this area right up in here. And pretty much the same area on the 15 minute chart, it looks like, but um, overall price action pushed up. And when I looked at it from the liquidity fee where I trade from or the brokers I trade from, uh, I thought I had a little bit more time soon because it was right at seven o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I don't expect these type of movements until, uh, you know, a little bit past eight o'clock, 830 within the Asian market. But uh, <clears throat> overall, I wanted these shorts from right up at her and completely missed on them. I don't truly believe the buys. I can see why we could buy especially not breaking this low from the higher time frame on down, structure shift. Uh, we didn't break this low when we came back down, so I can see why we could be pushing back up. Um, I'm ultimately looking for price action to retest this structure most recently broken on the higher time frame. I saw I was looking forward to come back into, but when I saw this pullback um, <clears throat> earlier, looking for a pullback throughout the New York session, I knew potentially this retracement could be happening. So missed it on those shorts there, and now we just see price action pushing bully. Um, the chances of it continuing to go bullish, I would have to make a decision once it closed back above this structure right here, how price action was pushing, maneuvering, and how far it pushed back to the um original area I was looking forward to pull back to. But higher time frame. Uh let me see. Let me see. I think we are identifying 
Mm. Identifying bearish on the daily as in there's been a high that has broken structure from price action pushing bullish. So daily high to the daily low with a retracement and price action now retracing or retesting that daily low with two um daily candles rejecting from this area <clears throat> on the downside. So we we'll click back over to that four hour. You know what I'm saying? And bring that analogy back in. You got that high to that low. And then you had the four first the, the first four hour resistance right up in here. Push down. This is the resistance that's identified because this resistance here caused the breaker structure right over here. So four hour high, four hour low. Um as we look and see the price action from this week's weekly open, we did push up and break above this four hour resistance. So when you go down to lower time frames, you will see candles close above this high, but ultimately on the higher time frames, this candle is rejecting this area. It did wick above and grab some liquidity. And we can say we ultimately grabbed liquidity soon because we came back down and we broke structure here. So um, ultimately I kind of saw this as bearish. If you look at, um, my um, previous weekend analysis, uh, from weekend analysis from this weekend on Sunday, I kind of talked about this. Uh, we were overall identifying bearishly on the daily, and we were looking to see, or we were saying that price action was getting ready to short off, but we were looking for the confirmations from this week's price action to kind of determine um, if that price action really was going to short off. So, if you check back over to that uh, weekend analysis back on Sunday this week, um, I think I was on the thirteenth. The on the 12th. So we get announced as we talk about this, looking for this uh, sort of price action going into this week. And yeah, so we can see this price action did push up. Like I said, grab that liquidity and then start to short off because we broke, um, uh, grab liquidity and short it off and broke structure here on a four hour time frame, bring the analysis back. So then we identified this four hour resistance to this low to the four hour support right down here in the black. But ultimately, I don't like this sort of setup right here. Hold on one second. Yeah, so ultimately, I don't like this really being my um, four-hour um, resistance simply because of how the candle closed and because it also ultimately closed as a lower high to this high right over here. So ultimately, still reading um, bearish from the daily with the high to the low. Um, potentially a new lower high that could be pushing this down to create that new lower low, but um, wanting to see price action reject from this area right up at her, the structure that was most recently broken on the hourly time frame. So right up in this 69, right up in this range, right up in her. I want to see how price action reacts from this level right here. We push and break above that potentially could be setting up buys going towards the end of the week to retest this area and then ultimately come back to a level I look that was I was looking to be retested in general, which is uh that 70.370 area. So uh, definitely looking for both scenarios right here. I do see this candle on a four hour candle. Uh, we got about 15 minutes left for this candle close. And it is currently rejecting that downside. So what we see is price action go bully. We come down and get that big drop that I was looking for that I missed. Um, and now that candle is about to close in 15 minutes, almost on a far away time frame. So I would look at this as a rejection and then potentially be looking for that next set of candles, especially on a far hour time frame to be pushing bullish. On the lower time frame, you will be creating a structure pushing back to this top side. And to see how far it retests, uh, this would be a first area, like I said, 69, 218. What was that area we had? Yeah. Somewhere right up in here. Yeah. So definitely we want to be seeing how price action reacts once we hit right up in here. Then if it continues to produce bullish candles, let that thing ride to the top side and then retest that final area we definitely were looking for. Um, to be hit early this week, but it wasn't. So we go, we go, we go see. <clears throat> so bring that analysis back. Um, ultimately, identifying bearish on the daily, somewhat bearish on the four hour breaking the structure right over here. It's kind of how we identify bearish there. Then you hit down to that one hour, and you see price action pushes up and creates a resistance, pulls back and tries to break that resistance and leaks to the downside. I'm talking about leakage, quick, smooth, forty pips. You know what I'm saying? Uh, within that 
handle. Um, yeah, I think it's like a pyramid king, you know, and broke structure here. So ultimately, we could say if this push into the highs does not break this area right up in her, the let me go back and let's see. Let me kind of do that and do that. So if we don't break here first, then we definitely not coming back up into here. So we definitely looking to see how we react here first. If we break above here, then definitely our odds react to oops, what happens in this area here next. This is 169 to about, let me see, the bottom is 69, 220, top is 69, 336. So within that range, if we roll over bearishly from there, could be definitely taking some shorts going into the London. If not, if we break and close above, then better let that thing do what it do. If you know how to get active in essentially targeting any of these highs right back up in her. Um, and yeah, we're going to see what we're going to, we're going to, we're going to see what's going to happen there. But this does look like a fake out to the downside, especially if this candle closes like this. You already know what to do. You can't go ahead and identify. We got that Asian high right up on her. Right up on her. And then we got that Asian low right up on her right up in the resistance or support area from the daily and a four hour time frame. That Asian low, right low. And we gonna, we gonna, we gonna see. So that thing started, like I said, we start closing back above this area right up at her, one hour resistance. And yeah, potentially we could get busy and we, we would need to see a close above here. You know what I'm saying? And then pull back to get active. So we're looking to get active from right up in here somewhere out that pullback. But it all depends on how the structure sets up too. The structure kind of shows you slides kind of Gives you um, ideas of where price action potentially could pull back to, but it all depends on how you you know read the charts and get at you. So we gonna we gonna we gonna see. So new resistance creates a new low breaking below structure here. So we gotta see what happens here first. We can make a great determination from what happens right up in her, and then. Let's see how we live around, see how we rock it. Pull them up. Look on some the world day, then I'm coming nearly. And it slides on the dog shot. Okay, now he's sliding, now he's sliding. Y'all are rising, you know what I'm saying? So they talking about USD scruff. But potentially, I mean, I don't I I have never really seen the Asian session break through major key zones and key levels. Uh, during the Asian session. So, I mean, I don't think it's going to start happening tonight. So, potentially, we could see a nice little pullback one more time to that top side of retail. <laughs> but it all depends on how price that's going to play out for it, though. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to kind of have to wait, especially since we missed on these shots. Oh, I was sick when I came back to the charts and I seen price action done late. Oh, oh I'm about to smack something. <laughs> oh, I was heated. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Especially after I got tagged over here, bro. Yeah. I was too early right over her. You know what I'm saying? That rejection and that bullish close had me ready. Um, And yeah, it just pulled back just a little bit more. And then he's on out. And now I missed on my shots here. And then I don't know. I couldn't have told you I would have been looking for buyers right down here immediately, especially after this big ass candle right here. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Price action pushing back bullish, so we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Um, ultimately, since we have pushed so far, definitely first reaction is waiting for what happens right up in this area, right up in her. So if we start on wicks, you know what I'm saying? See how this candle throws a wick. This is not an example of a candle I want to see, but see the wick that is starting to throw, whereas these candles are closing more towards the top of the candle. So. <clears throat> If we start pushing into this area right over her and start producing candles with bigger wicks and shorter bodies, then that could be something I want to see. And yeah, we're just going to go from there. But right now, we just create instruction on five minute and then one minute on the lower time frame. So yeah, it's definitely a waiting game. You get your head tapped. No, I bought that thing too early. What time is it? It's almost nine o'clock. Mm. Mm, 
I couldn't even tell you for sure, but I would really love taking shorts right here, even though I see the play, I see the setup. Because we didn't break this low, made me real nervous to take shorts from right here because anytime I've seen price action like this and they pull back and don't break that low, bang, right to the top side on your ass. So we're going we to definitely have to sit back and see. Um, this is invalid. Let me get rid of that. That ain't telling them. Nathan. Um, this is going to be a trigger situation right here. Especially trying to get it up for buys. That thing is holding to the top side, though. Yeah, we would definitely need to see that bitch just push right up in here and then catch it on the pullback. If it pull back, correct. It's, it's, it's a crazy situation. It might just keep going bullet, and that'll be okay. I just definitely need to see some the most price action right now because, ooh, ooh. Mm, I don't know. I about to do something, though. Yeah, I buy the sale, leak it, see what happens. Get in. Delicate situation, my friends. Real delicate, my friends. Because Brace Hessian can go either way. You can get smashed either way. Right now, I'm more in favor of the bias. Simply because we pulled back. Yeah. We did not break the higher type structure. And now we come back very aggressively after this impulsive sell-off in the market. Yeah. I don't know for sure, but we shall find out. Arr, arr. E So, I wouldn't want to take the breakout bars. I don't know that I would like to break out shorts, like I said, soon because we didn't break here. It was definitely a waiting game on AU for me. We'll pop out. He was going on the rest of the market. We would have missed out on. Um, missed out on some GJ Longs. Price action didn't come in. Missed by Spare Pippage. 2.9 pills off the entry. But ultimately, going back to that early, just show what I saw. I'm saying we pushing, bully. Um, close above that previous one hour high uh, from two week analysis ago. I'm saying come, um, push above. I was looking for price action to pull back deeper. So I missed this entry here. Um, yeah, push higher. Back into this was the original targets back up in here. And then as it came back down, we we're retracing. I had levels from the 15 minute area identified looking left, and we completely smashed in them levels. Only thing to do was to wait, you know. Uh, this is. Looking for it right now, 70%. Mm -hmm. 
didn't quite reach. So pushed up 70 of them things. I know for sure, by sure, by sure, by sure, by sure. I wouldn't have been cashed out, so I wouldn't have been looking for none of this, um, especially getting in from where I got in. Um, as price action is currently kind of downtrending already. Um, so, yeah, as we push back into that um, potential, some called lower high, um, pushing back into that area and not getting to close above that structure, definitely would have been about that thing, uh, in the, even though we were indicating, looking to get in from there, targeting up there, stop loss down there. I would have been out of them things. But uh, definitely retracing. Uh, we could continue to – we could continue to push bears, especially not breaking above here. Uh, retest. Um, if we start to see bullish candles start to produce after this one-hour candle closes, 15 minutes, let's see. Have we rolled over to the top side? Oh, hello, Laura. Hello, Lou. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, retracing. Yeah. It's gonna break this low. Potentially, it could roll back to the top side, but there's some high time frames for speed. Let's see what's going on. It looks like it's potentially been retested, but potentially could see it drop as low as somewhere right there, and then potentially see if it rolls back over bullish from there. So. Ultimately, looking at GJ somewhat bullish, even though we did push back into four-hour resistance. And we started to shift the structure a little bit, I don't think, on the hourly. Yeah, we kind of shifted on the hourly as well. So definitely when we see the shift of structures on the hourly, we do sort of expect a deeper retracement. Yeah, we hmm, that's kind of funky right there. I would say we definitely look for a deeper retracement within the range, but this is kind of setting up like it's already ready to go. This kind of right here rejects. Go oh, well, yeah. Definitely could be targeting at six uh, 162, 122, 162, 162, I call it 162050. Oh, this candle kind of flip, Billy. But ultimately, definitely four hour is pushing bullish. Um, the daily time frame was somewhat still stuck within that range from the four hour low to the four hour high. So we're trying to clear those highs and then ooh, 65 on that air. You can see we gonna, we gonna, we gonna see. Ultimately, should be looking for potentially the best bear, the best bullish scenario. Um, let's see a little bit more leakage on this, but a lot will be resting on this four hourly. Yeah, see how this four hourly close. I'm closing one minute. So if it goes like this, yeah, the next one probably gonna go bearish. But the one hour looked like a different story. One hour looked like it's ready to roll over, bro. So yeah, definitely a delicate situation on uh GJ as well. The set up right here. But um, yeah, definitely want to see how this price action right here plays out. If we get the leakage and definitely expecting deeper rechasing back into the one hour support, we break below there. And we could be on and off to the races. Um, would have to just, you know, kind of look left and see what kind of lines up as far as where I think price action will pull back to. Um, ultimately, don't follow GJ that tight enough to want to really, you know, follow it that tight. So I would definitely be playing it off the higher time frame structures. So one hour resistance, if we break below this support and potentially looking for shorts back uh, deep within this four hour range, right over here from the black to the black. So it is what it is. Yeah. If we break down below here. Definitely looking for shorts back down below this low. Number two. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GU. Missed out on a couple opportunities on GU. Was identified bearishly on a four-hour time frame, lower high to a lower low. 
Time to get some retracements. See. Coming from the weekend analysis. Definitely was looking. Once we saw price action push up above here, started closing above structure on the hourly. We definitely, definitely, definitely was looking for the buys. Missed out because I was looking for this price action here to pull back a little bit deeper. It didn't at the time. It did uh, push up right up here and then immediately pushed above the high. Looking left, grabbed me liquidity and immediately shot right back to the downside. So didn't get the entry here. So it did end up tapping that area, but it eventually rolled over and closed bears below that area. So ultimately kind of glad I did miss out on um, GU. Um, yeah, because this market went crazy just like uh, um, AU1 did. But um, right up in here, saw price action close above. Was looking for a retracement. Say right up in here to retest those highs. Just looking left as far as targets. Right up in here. And like I said, kind of missed on the entry there. Right over here, start price action started to roll over from that Asian low. Um, kind of just saw this as some sort of equal I think kind of identified on the one minute time frame. It kind of looked like uh real close together lows, like equal lows right here. So I kind of look at that as a liquidity pool and looking for price action that leak below that level. Or once price action gets to that level, just kind of like immediately just push through that level. No pump faking. And then once we got below here on GU, yeah. I don't think I was at the charts in time for this. Yeah, we just missed on those shorts. Looking forward to retest back into um, one hour support. And it broke right through. And we had the possible breakout shorts that potentially could have had below that level. Missed on those as well. Retest could have potentially took another short there and retest those lows. And now it's just pushing back within the one hour range. So ultimately, definitely we need to reanalyze this. But um, had some opportunities on GU. Missed out because I'm ultimately most all the time Following AU, UK, the I can't really know what to tell you on UK. I saw these shorts just based off of price action trending to the downside. Um, we were pushing, and I was looking for price action to break above this structure here. It didn't it pull back. Um, pushed up one more time. It didn't break that. Sh didn't break this structure here as well. So. Definitely was looking for the shorts um, as price action started to roll back over to the downside. Um, I don't remember why I didn't get in on this, but uh, yeah, I think I was pretty much, I think it was looking for a closure below here. And then by the time it happened, it happened. Like I said, the market went stupid all of a sudden. But um, earlier this week, I think it was news. Yeah. I remember the uh, CPI, I think it was. Uh, UJ. Come on. Was originally looking for the buys from way down here. Price action opened up. This is two weeks ago. So this week we just opened up bullishly. Once we pushed up into this one hour resistance, we're looking for the reaction to see if we pretty much broke any structure from where price action just came from. The answer is no. We started to push back bullish. So once we broke above last night analysis, we could be looking for buys. Uh, didn't really follow it too well, but ultimately it did push down and give us the support it created. So based off of this, how I would have attacked and tried to get in was I saw price action <clears throat> pushing creation to high highs and higher lows, but then that structure pulled back. Mm, this one would have been kind of tough to get in because we didn't really retest any structures. It just kind of rolled over bullish. So definitely what I had to see, this is on a 15-minute time frame, you know, watching it live, and seeing how it's pushing above that one hour resistance, definitely would have had to see price action push back um, bearish. And then how we got kind of like this um, bearish, bullish, bearish close. Would have needed to see price action close above there. And then would have wanted to see a retest of the lows um, right over here before pushing back bullish. But you didn't necessarily got that, didn't necessarily get that. I just pushed bullish here. Those small bearish close right up in there. And then it just pushed to the top side. So, uh, UJ, yeah, definitely was looking for a deeper retracement here, didn't get it, and out to the top side. So, um, yeah, targeting um, structure looking left, always targeting structure looking left for the most part. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, I don't think 
I wouldn't necessarily sit around and wait for this scenario to play out soon because we're looking for the retracement for price action to retest those highs. And since we already uh, touched right up in there, I would definitely um, not really consider this setup right now. Definitely think it could happen, but as far as me uh, wanting to be in it for, you know, this week, price action is pretty much out of there. Um, ultimately, do see us pushing bullish on USD JPY. JPYs have been moving funky for the last few weeks. Um, yeah. So we need to definitely see some real higher time frame structure be broken to ultimately try to clarify which way um UJ and these JPYs really want to go. And outside of that, if we push above this 134.796, we could be seeing some deeper retracement action back into that uh Daily time frame supply area at 138,218. Uh yeah, and that's pretty much it. UJ, I don't, I can't never really um I've never been able to time UJ's retracement phase. So as we are pushing into this four hour resistance, I would be I'm definitely interested to see how it pulls back and which structure, like you know what I'm saying, do we break any structure? that we just came up on. Like if we break here, I'm definitely looking for continuation shorts. If we break here, I'm looking for continuation shorts. So I don't know how far it's going to pull back. Sometimes it pulls back, you know, one or two candles and then it just zoot up on your ass. So it's like, you got to be on the charts and in front of UJ at its time of momentum um, within the market to get active. If I come to UJ's chart and it didn't push past my zone and it didn't push past the scenario I want to see getting active on, I'm gonna let it ride because primarily I focus on you. Um, pushing over to gold, gold. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I think we got stopped up, my friend. Oh no, bueno. What did we get stopped up? We didn't get stopped up, did we? Let me see. Let me see. Did we get stopped up? I think we got stopped up, my friends. Oh no, we didn't get stopped up. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I think we got stopped up. We got stopped up. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, based on the way these candles is producing right now, especially in the early, ultimately, what I saw from our time frame down was the trade analysis I had several weeks ago for a goal to push up into this 1973 area. We didn't really push completely up there. Um, and then just based off how um, the dollar index is moving and sort of other, other um, XXX USD pairs are moving, I kind of felt like the deep ass retracement on gold was going to happen. I didn't know exactly how far it was going to pull back, but the first area I was looking for was right up at her. Um, kind of talked about this on the weekend analysis as well. So, um, I not tell you necessarily exactly why I felt like that was going to be 100%, you know, just based off of structure. There's nothing that really stands out. You got a couple imbalances here and there, but they like uh, everywhere on gold. So it's like, I don't really have one in particular, especially off of this setup. Um, maybe I'll feel snatchy. Ultimately, definitely would like to catch a buy from down here, but you know what I'm saying? 382, if it sets up, it sets up. But if it's there, you know, Hop in, see what's gonna happen here. And then that's kind of you know the analysis I have right up in here. But this is coming off of three eight two Fibonacci level. I just kind of identified this, you know, just based off of the structure. Um, as I broke down gold a previous time before, yeah, get rid of that. And that's basically why I was looking for buys from within that area. What uh actually happened is. Price action just leaked right through the area. I was looking to buy four. So, uh, yeah. I think the original stops was like way down here. And then once I saw this leakage and price action started to consolidate right up in here and then it started to push back bullish, I pulled the stops up to where they are now. Wait, what did I just do? So stops originally was way down here. And then once we leaked right through that entry, the bottom entry, the stops got a trail. 
And then now we're starting to push back, Willie. Uh, I think we're going to get there. I, I don't know. I need to see some price action first. It's always tough right in the beginning of the trade, but you can always tell you um you negative. So if we started to lead back to the downside, start breaking, you know, some structure out of her. Yeah, it might not be too good for the home team. But uh, ultimately, that's what I'm looking for on goal. Trying to see if they're going to work on out for a player, but it ain't looking too good right now. But we're going to bounce back on that. Um, Euro USD, my friends. So we got the reaction from structure. Basically, we pretty much identified looking left. We pushed up, but just kind of like on AU, we did not uh, close above that four hour resistance. And ultimately, you know, wicking above, grabbing liquidity, creating a lower high within the market. <laughs> Excuse me, high, low, lower highs where the um, candles actually closed, potentially pushing to create that lower low, but we also did not um, break below this um, low right over here. So ultimately, these could push back bills. Just like hey, you could, but it's uh, in a tough predicament right now. Um, if it did push back bullish, I definitely potentially yeah. could push back up there, but mm, it'd be tough, my friend, from right here. I don't know, my friend. Um, yeah, what I would do from her. Definitely have to reanalyze this, re um, re-identify the chart, but just based off of the price action, from a four hour high to a low, went through, but lower high didn't break the low, so would see. I would I would wait on the lower time frame and see if we get any sort of bullish confirmation to say, okay, yeah, we're gonna continue to go bullish. So right now, currently, we are bearish from this point here, low. High, lower, low, lower, net low, lower, high, lower, low. We're kind of pulling back. This is the hourly. We did kind of break above this first little structure. So it could continue bullish. You could see some type of retracement. But so from here, since we're already uh, big bullish on the wire top trend, um, yeah, I would definitely try to see if I can find any type of little small pullbacks and try and catch a little scout by, ultimately because the lower time frames are bullish. But you could run into some heavy, heavy resistance here shortly. But if we continue to go bullish then, um, which I've ultimately seen in price action, especially since we didn't break the lows looking left. Um, yeah. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna see. It could, it could take you down, and it could bust bust them high right up now. So we gonna we gonna pause it right here. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna pull back about a week or two, and we are gonna see a price action way up here. I'm like, you know, see, I told you it could, have, especially since we didn't break that low. I'm telling you, I seen it tons of times. Now I could be wrong. It could leak and just keep going, but I would say. Seven out of ten times, when you see this type of price action, we broke the high, come back down. We did not break the low. Now seven out of ten times, price action is going back bullish. Bullioto, my friend, to the top side, to the top side, to the top side. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm, I really don't really want I really don't want to get in for real for real because I missed here. I got quacked over here. Like my stomach is like kind of like kind of like sideways because it's just like uh. and then my veins we could go either way. All right, so what we see is we push down, create that Asian high, came down, created that new one hour support, breaking below structure right over there. Um yeah. We pulled all the way back into supply area that caused price action to leak. So now what we're looking for is to see, is it going to push bars? Oh, don't down to that one minute. Is it going to push bars? You know what I'm saying? So as we track high, low, high, 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 low, high, 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 low, high, high, I will need price action at least to close below here 
and continue to roll over bears, they'd be like, yeah, that thing ain't going to shot on now. We're going to draw it up. We're going we gonna, to we gonna see. That's how area of interest on the one-minute time frame. Fifteen minutes. Yeah, Nathan McVean. He broke and he broke. So you can see if you are oh, okay. no one minute for the bias for the bias. Pretty much for the same thing for the top side. You know, continuation bias. You just want to see pressure break structure. Pull back and then try to get active. But you got all type of resistance right up in her. I don't think no news about all ball. First of all, we click over to that thing and check it out. See, let sneak this and going on. Told you outside to look for a sneak this. Okay, see, you know what I'm saying? Fair for the news. Um, hour and 46 minutes ago. What was the Today is the 15th. USD. What is AM? Hold on, go back. Oh, yeah. Unemployment rate. E. Actual greater than forecast is good for the currency. The actual was dead. Forecast was dead. Previous was negative 20. I ain't looking too bueno, is it? Actual greater than 4K. I need some drink. There's too much math. And I got to pee, did it? So they forecast 19.8 and the actual was negative 11.5. Yeah, so that's bad, right? Actual greater than forecast is good for the curve. This actually is nowhere near. Yeah, so that based off of that AU should leak. But they don't know me because it's if you read this the wrong way, then you're going the wrong direction. Maybe you should have the money when coming in. It's not important. Yeah, so that's why you got to be caught up on how to read. You know what I'm saying? Which way um, this news could shift. So, this is what I'm looking for. It's kind of like shit on the chart right now. But ultimately, you got that one hour resistance. I'm pushing back heavy into the supply. Those above here, and potentially, what time is it? Potentially, we could see continuation bias back up in somewhere right up there. Specifically, somewhere right up there, 69,270. Um, and yeah, we had to make a decision based off of that. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna see how we let's go ahead and do it. Oh, that we already broke 50%. So, yeah, so that's how it's a high, it's low. 50% fifty percent fifty Is there? I think I'm going to fast, my dog. What about to turn off? What are we looking forward to? 
Oh, I do it. Oh, there. Like screen here and here. Yeah. Look for this. Just to break up. Oh, right. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like. The turn three on five, but the chance of that. Oh, this is good. No, no, we're going to see. We're not. Yeah, if we pull like deeper. Oh, there we go. Need to move through. Move through. I'm going to pick us up. We just got to rack it off. I need to get some do hop music to put it back right. Yeah, I got to listen to me breathe. The video probably longer than a month. I've been here for a little minute now. Ain't it? What time are you? But uh, that's what I'm looking for. And yeah, we swoop to this level here too. Then uh. Back to the drum board and waiting game again. If we could continue our bears, but if we come down here and start to throw the wigs, my friends, if we start to throw the wigs, my friends, they're going to get active. Yeah, yeah, 23 pips, my friends, they're going to chill up with me. But uh, that's all I got for this one. I'm about to slide. I mean, it could pop off, and I hate it. Slide right now, but you know what I'm saying? I think I've been on here for like hours of change. I don't know if I've been on here for a minute, my friends. My friends. But yeah, if you got the charts, then you know what happened. You know what I'm saying? You've seen the results, you know. I'm looking to buy from right here. If it don't set up, then I won't. I let it run its move, especially after I missed over here and got quacked down and ducked over here. So I want to not take these bots, but if it come down here and it sets up, they're going to get in. They're going to get in, maybe. <laughs> That's all I got for this one. I'm up out of that thing. Like and subscribe. I'm out. <clears throat>